What if you want to change a setting through multiple images or even multiple videos at the same time? Shear Drive Piano says, I use PowerDirector 18, which operates the same way for this function, and I already know how to rotate individual clips. What I can't figure out is how do I rotate an entire batch at once? It's a real waste of time to have to go through and rotate, rotate each individual clip. There must be a way to do this, but I sure can't find it. Well, you're right. There is an easier way to do this. And you can do this with stop motion, and you can also do it with your videos. Like with stop motion, you'll take multiple files. And if you need to stretch them out, or you need to rotate them, or do different things, you can have it done to like 10,000 images, or 20 videos, or whatever. But let's go over to PowerDirector, and let me show you how you do this. Okay, in PowerDirector 18, I went and grabbed three videos, and I made sure that when I turn these, you can actually see they're upside down. And uh, this one here is of a cat. And that cat is kind of funny. Let me play this for you. Just, I mean, it's off topic, but look how this cat doesn't move. Literally not moving. It doesn't even, if you look at the back, you'll see a bird moving. Now he moves. What is that? What is that human doing? Oh, I thought that was the cutest thing. Anyhow, bring your videos down into the timeline. Now, we can do this a lot differently. Notice how I brought them down one at a time. I have my control key down, and I'm going to hit delete and remove them all. Now, we could do this where we single click, hold control, and catch them all. And then we could drag them all down at the same time. We could do that too. You know. So you can select all of them or bring them all down one at a time. It's up to you. And you'll notice they're in blue. But I want to rotate these. And I don't want to have to do each one sing singly. I mean, I want to rotate them where we do it all in one shot. So what I'm going to do is grab the first one. And then as usual, I'm just going to rotate this. And now that we got the first one done, and you can see the little cat's upside down, I'm going to right-click on this video. And up here, you're going to see where it says Copy Keyframe Attributes. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to go back and right-click it again. And then I'm going to say P Paste Keyframe Attributes. But I'm going to make sure before I do that, I want to make sure I select them all. Make sure I've got them all selected. And I held down the control key and I just went through and selected them. Do it with the shift key. Just make sure they're all selected. Then I'm going to say paste keyframe attributes being I've already copied them. And watch what's going to happen. We get this message here. I say OK. And what it should do is they should all automatically flip upside down for me. And look at that. And look at that. So now, when I actually play them through, you will see that the entire video is actually flipped upside down. So again, your first video, select it, do your little turn or whatever you're going to do to it, then go copy your attributes, then select them all, then paste your attributes. That'll speed up your editing when you're turning videos upside down or when you're doing stop motion. And it'll just give it a much more pleasant experience when you're editing your videos. At any rate, guys, thumbs up. Give me a comment. Catch you guys on the next one.